Well, we finally made it to Tampa. And uh, man, the sites here are really tight. So we're not actually talking about Tampa stuff today. We're talking about knowing your limits when you are moving your RV in and around an RV park in tight spaces, backing in with obstacles like trees and limbs and other rigs and other vehicles that people have parked up close to the road. We got into that situation today. We came here and we checked in and they had us in a site in the back. I'm going to show you both of the sites that they had us in the first one. Uh, lots of obstacles, hard to get in. The next one wasn't long enough. It was, um, our cap would have been overhanging the road by a little bit. And that's dangerous because people come in late at night and, or are not paying attention uh, with their rig and they can actually clip your rig. And like every RV park, you know, you park it, however you park it, it's at your own risk. If it gets damaged, it's on you. If you had your rig sticking out in the thing. So you really have to know your limitations. You have to know what you're comfortable with. And you have to know like, um, am I willing to take the risk to get in this space? And we really did have to take a little bit of a risk today because um, there was no other spaces available. And when we're talking about staying in Tampa for four weeks, because we had planned to here the whole month and you can't just start calling around campgrounds during the Tampa RV show week and asking for a four week stay uh, because they're just not available. And we thought that would, might be an option at one point. So we did call a couple of other places and uh, hard to get in or they're super, super expensive. So I'll take you around. I'll show you these spots that we were originally going to be in. And you can let me know if you think we could have got in them or not. Um, he did have a couple of spaces left available, but he drove the whole park in the cart looking for us a new space. And then all the other spaces they had were like super gnarly with just low hanging trees or like really tight getting in, um, just awkward angles. All of these back end sites are 90 degree back ends. None of these are, they don't fish bone. So it's, it's not as easy to just to go in on a slant but these 90 degree back ends are a little more difficult. And then, you know, I don't like doing it anyway, so <laughs> they add a, an extra couple degrees to the turn. It's just not fun. This is actually a little closer to the front. And it wouldn't be that bad because you can see here, you could turn into here and then back straight into this space right here. But the problem is, is it's not long enough and we would have been, our cap would have been sticking out. And then you can also see like there's little, there's like roots and jagged, it's not, it's not level at all and my, and my luck you know one of those leveling jacks would have landed right on a root or something and then it's sitting there for we're here four weeks so you really don't want your your rv sitting there all wonky for like a whole month so um i'll show you the uh the, the setup that we had to go with after get moved from that site to this site and then i'll show you the end result here after we got done trying to work those options and they didn't work we came back down here this spot right here was the only space that was still available and you can see the obstacles and you can see if you're going at it from from this way to back in it's almost like a um, a v-shape hook in because it, it does fishbone a little bit but only if you're going this way and um the rv just <clears throat> i couldn't get it to do it and they're, they're trying to well, anyway, I, I didn't feel comfortable even attempting to get into this space. So um, when we got here, Michael and Shelly, they were already here and they were in this space. And so luckily they were gracious enough. Michael was like, look, we'll move ours across the way over to here. And then you guys can take our, our space right here, which was awesome. So the moral of the story is know your limitations. <laughs> now I know, I know some of you are watching this and going, look, you can get in those some of those spaces. And probably, I even said he could get in. Everybody those. was saying, <laughs> Leslie was saying, you can do it. Yeah. Michael Shelley, like the, you, everybody, yeah. all you can do it. You can make it in. You can do it. Cool, got it. I don't feel like I can do it. So, I, and, and I'm, and I'm, I don't hardly ever say I can't. I don't hardly ever speak those words. But, and I'm sure I could have gotten into this space. I'm not saying that I could. It wouldn't have been pretty, but no. we could have done it. But what would have happened is I would have got frustrated. I would have got mad. And then I'd there's like, mad at you for getting mad. Yeah, and then we'd have just been miserable for the whole rest of the day because we'd have been <laughs> mad at each other and it wouldn't have been worth it to me. No. Especially 
it's not as bad if it's just me and you. Me, you, Michael Shelley's over there. We got three of the guys out the here, the workers. campground manager. I mean, trying to fit a lot this of rig. Pressure to get in. And I'm like, no. I was like, I'm not. I'm just, <laughs> I'm, I'm shutting down. I, the, I, I've you shut pulled down. a Vince Vaughn. I've shut down. <laughs> I've shut down. And I'm not doing it. <laughs> you totally did a Vince Vaughn. Because I don't want to fight, and I knew it would have led to that. So, yeah. so not only not only that, if I had attempted it, and I had screwed something up or hit something, yeah, then I would have been doubly mad because I'd have been like, I knew I shouldn't have tried it. But you guys convinced, and, and then I've been, I've been, been mad. Been everybody, I told yeah, you I, I told you, 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 you all weren't listening to me. It would have been a whole ordeal. It would. It would. So I was like, I don't even want to do that. <laughs> So my limitations, I'm comfortable with. So, and I don't want to have to do a video talking about knowing your limitations and showing you damage <laughs> of the RV because I did because I yeah. learned that way. Yeah. So, if you're just not comfortable with it, find Abort. another way. Abort. Find another option. <laughs> Whoever is the operator of your situation, if they're not comfortable. I mean, don't push it, man, because they could, right. they could wreck it. And especially for us, because we live in it. Well, yeah. You know? Yeah, it's a little bit I always bit more have that pressure. in my mind when we're towing, we're moving, we're backing in. I'm like, this is our house. Yeah. And we just got it back. Yeah. And if I screw this <laughs> up, then we're going to be in the same Bartow, Florida situation. <laughs> and that time, it'll be our fault. Uh, yeah. We can get no help on that one. No. So not only financially, but just inconvenience wise anyway know your limitations don't let anybody push you around man do your thing <laughs> Be your all right like we do at the end of all the videos we're going to honor a fallen hero mm -hmm. we appreciate you watching and we will see you next time bye